glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors unto the apostles, elders of Great Millstone. And I would also like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered, to all the four winds of the earth, unto the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth, in this doctrine, unto you. I say shalom. The avian flu could be the one. All right. When I say the one, that's the one that could, you know, begin this numerous mass plagues um, to start this, you know, uh, uh, this this global reset to start this Esau coming down with great wrath to start the um, the coming of Yahweh Shah. OK. And pestilence in this this avian flu is a form of pestilence is prophesied in the scriptures. All right. And Esau is giving his warning through, you know, various articles, um, you know, concerning this and other different plagues out there. But the real the real the real warning is coming from the men of the Lord. OK, where, where we're warning you that, yeah, this is coming. Scientists warn. But hey, the, 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 the main sources of this of these plagues of this flu is Yahweh Shai, the heavenly father. OK. That that is in control of everything. It's, the scripture says in Sirach 18, the Lord uh, um, ruled the world at the palm of His hand. Okay, so it's the Lord that's ultimately in control that's bringing forth these plagues. All right, so I'm gonna read a little bit of this article and pull some precepts because this may be the one that sets the shit off. This may be the one that you know is 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 you know one of those plagues that's that, that you know. Starts taking people starts taking people out without notice. Where well, you may not get a cough, you may not get, you know, uh, uh, it's not certain symptoms. The symptoms just come, and you may be dead within a week. All right, that that's how the heavenly father's coming when he brings these plagues. All right. Um, so let me read a little bit of this. It says avian flu. Scientists warn apocalyptic disease could jump to humans. Okay, and it's already um, in birds and uh, other sea uh, sea creatures that have. Um, you know, have that have had this virus and have died off mainly. Um, I think it was seals, um, several other uh, different marine life. It says it in the article, but let me read a little bit more. Um, so I can concerns are growing about the avian flu now, the disease that has adapted to kill thousands of marine animals. With scientists warning, the deadly virus could spread to humans. The risk posed to humans by H5N1 also known as avian influenza, are currently low, but as the virus is now spreading to other animals, scientists say that it indeed, it, that it, excuse me, it needs to be closely monitored. All right, so what you're going to, what, what eventually is going to happen is you're going to have possibly um, a fish eat one of these infected animals, sea creatures, and then, you know, someone may catch a fish and you know, eat the fish and it spreads like that. You know, you see it in these movies, like the uh, one movie, um, Contagion, where, um, you know, the, the lady, I believe, was over in, you know, Asia somewhere, China, and, you know, a, 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 a bird, um, I think it was a bird, died, or the pig ate the bird, and they served the pig, and, the, you know, that's how it spread. The same thing can happen with this. All right, the death the death of almost twenty thousand elephant seals on the coast of western Argentina have been linked to the virus, which which has circulating in birds for decades. All right, so it has been something that's been around. Or right, even the damn animals are suffering under this the rulership of this devil. Okay, ain't nobody ain't nobody catching a break with this devil ruling. All right, you think the animals, you know, you think. What was it? A elephant seals? You think the seals are, you know, they okay because they in the ocean? You know, they got to worry about getting the goddamn uh, uh, avian flu. Okay? Excuse me. Last year, we saw a huge spike in egg prices as a result of a 2022 uh, outbreak that affected 58 million chickens in the United States and millions more globally. Researchers, researchers fear that having jumped from birds to mammals, it may now be moving from one ma mammal to another, meaning you hum humans, all right, meaning you people, all right. Um, I think it's quite likely Dr. Chris Walter, Executive Director of Health at the Wildlife Cons Cons Conservation Society, said, 
Walter warned, great monitoring of the virus in mam animals is required to track the spread. But you're not getting, you're not, this is not on mainstream news. This is not, uh, uh, you're not getting, you're not going to receive this warning. All right. And the warning ain't to not eat this or not eat that. Of course, don't eat any abominable foods. But the warning is you better get right with the Heavenly Father. You better pray. You better fast. You better repent because like this, the title of this article says apocalyptic, apocalyptic disease. All right. They already know this is apocalyptic disease. There's no remedy for it. There's no, um, no, no, no shot that can make you e immune to this. All right. This is going to, this, this killed what they say over 20,000 elephant seals. All right. And, and maybe, maybe that's not a, a high number, but off just, that's just off the coast of Argentina. They don't know where the, you know, uh, um, other marine life that could have contracted this. Okay. But these are the plagues being sent from the heavenly father. Even the, look at this, man. These, these, these animals and beasts, they're not necessarily beasts themselves, but they, they possibly have died of this, uh, this, 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 uh, this avian flu. Okay. And this is more than likely something that this devil has, has, has uh, created in a laboratory like the rest of them. All right. And people will see this. You even put this on the news, CNN or Fox news, and they'll have a segment on it. And this shit will go over everyone's head, just like the C-19 did. Like, oh, it will never happen to us. Yeah, okay, that's what everyone thought. And then next thing you know, the whole damn world was shut down because of this PSYOP that you call a, 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 a the, you know, the C-19 uh, pandemic. All right? So um, let me get into a few scriptures. Or right, I don't want to make this too long, but hey, this this truth has to be brought out. All right? The, the warning has to go out. The alert has to be, the, the alarm has to be sounded all right, uh, uh, to our people, all right, this truth, all right, this warning that, hey, the Heavenly Father is not fucking around, okay, when, when, when these plagues be, begin to be sent, that's it, you all right, you're not, you're getting the warning right now, all right, this is the book of Second Ezra chapter 15, and I'm going to start at verse 3, um, all right, here, I'm going to start at 5, behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, all right, that's what the Lord is bringing, all right, plagues, sword, famine, death, and destruction. Okay, the, the, and and it, and it's going to come at a rapid pace. When these plagues begin to be sent, it's not going to be like okay, you know, it's going to it's going to go fast. All right, you're going to see maybe a thousand people drop today, and ten thousand the next day, and then twenty thousand, and then you know the the numbers are going to increase. All right, amongst other things, amongst the the, the famine. All right, Esau coming down with great wrath. All right, you know, you using this sword to take out you Israelites and you damn heathens, but mainly you Israelites that need to hear this warning. All right. Um, oh yeah, let me grab this. I, I went over to Second uh, Ezra sixteen and uh, verse three. A sword is sent unto you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and 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 what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may any one quench the fire in stubble when it hath begun to burn. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sent his plagues, and who is he that may drive them away? All right, the, 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 you can't drive away these plagues. All right, these plagues can't be stopped by any type of shot. It, it can't when they when when it when it happens, it happens. All right, and the, the C nineteen was a form of a plague, but. It, it wasn't at, at, you know, they made you feel and think that it was at epic proportions, but it wasn't, all right? It, and But with, when this comes, Esau's not going to have no control, okay? People are going to be dying, and they ain't going to know what to do, all right? They don't, they're they not going to have a solution, and people are going to be looking to their government for a solution, but they're not going to have them, all right? They may, may they may you know, uh, um, you know, you give you the illusion that they have a, they have a, 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 a solution, but they really don't, okay? Um, I want to get this. Yahweh Shai spoke of pestilence also. All right, uh, Matthew twenty four, and um, sorry, verse five. I started from five. Uh, many shall come in my name, saying, "I am, uh, I am Hamashiach, the Anointed," and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. He that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. This is a form of pestilence right here. All right. The disease that's that, that, you know, 
a pestilence disease that could wipe out a whole state. Okay, that's that's what's coming. Let me look up pestilence. Look up a fatal epidemic disease, especially bubonic plague. The bubonic bubonic plagues. That's what took out two thirds of Jake during the uh the the the, the end of the uh, dark ages, the end of the middle ages. Okay, that's how Esau was able to come back into power. Okay, but it was all it was all prophetic. It was all it was all you know. The Lord was the one that was you know uh, moving all the the, uh, the pieces on the chessboard. It was it was meant for our people to fall. Okay, and two thirds of our people are going to fall in these last days of some form of plague that is going to be sent from the heavenly Father. All right, I got a few more scripts. Uh, let me get First Chronicles, uh, twenty one. First Chronicles twenty one, and I'm, it's a real quick point. This should show you the power of the Lord. Uh, I started at thirteen, and David said unto Gad, "I am in great strait. Let me fall now into the hand of the Lord, for very great are His mercies. But let me not." fall into the hand of man so the lord sent pestilence upon israel and there fell of israel seventy thousand men that's light work for the most high to send pestilence all right and he sent that amongst the uh, uh um, our people israelites all right and seventy thousand fell they just seventy thousand men all right and and there fell seventy of of, of israel seventy thousand men okay that that people don't understand and realize they like to put the Most High in a box and think that the Most High is not capable of of, of doing these of doing these things, okay? But you know we're, we're coming at the time this 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 flu, all right, along with other uh, prophetic events could possibly take place, all right. And, and when it happens, everything's going to be happening simultaneously. Yes, you're going to have some form of pestilence. You're going to have some form of famine, all right. But it's going to be at epic proportions. It ain't just going to be a famine in the West Coast. It's going to be a famine throughout the whole world. It's going to be pestilence throughout the whole world. It's going to be a, a great death throughout the whole world. It's going to be great confusion. Okay, it's going to be, uh, um, you know, uprisings. It's going to be war. All these things are happening all at once. That this, that this is a part of the end. All right, this place is going to be taken out, and, and it's going to be, it's not going to, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be pretty. Okay. So um, I have one more scripture. This is for the elect, all right, that, that, that you know, that believe and trust on your how about your shy, that repent and turn from their wicked ways, all right? Uh, this is uh, Psalms 91 and uh, verse 10. There shall no evil fall be befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, all right? Hey, we, hey the elect don't got nothing to worry about as long as you put your trust in your how about your shy. During that pandemic, the C-19, Hey, the, the 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 hopeful elect out there. Hey, hey, we knew what it was. We knew that it was a sign by Esau. We saw the signs. We saw we could see through the bullshit. All right, and we wasn't taking no 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 jab. All right, we put our trust in Yahweh Hashem Shai, and He brought us through. All right, just like He's going to do in these coming times. Lord willing, we stay faithful and we continue to endure. All right, hey, it's going to come a time where you got to put all your faith out there, you know, and, and, and lean and depend on the Lord. All right. So, um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Habakkuk, Shalom.